Give a tug to your tie, put a crease in your pants. But if you really want to feel fine, give your shoes a shine. When there's a shine on your shoes, there's a melody in your heart. With a singable happy feeling, a wonderful way to start to pick the world every day. With a deedle dum die die die, little melody that is making the worry and world go by when you walk down the street. With a happy go lucky beat, you'll find a lot in what I'm repeating. When and then here's a gun shine on your shoes. A melody in your heart. What a wonderful way to start the day. Now there's a shine that you get in the barber shop. And there's a shine that you get in the Pullman car. A shine that you get in the schoolroom. Shine that you get in the pool room. a long time for you to get to that song through the years, Torme. I mean, it's been laying there waiting for you to pounce on it for all these blue velvet years, blue velvet fog years. Wait a minute, I recorded it back in the no, 60s, no, remember? No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, on, yeah, on the British album, but yeah. you've been now using it publicly for the first time in a dramatic way. I think at Marty's a few years ago, you decided to open with it. That's right. It's wonderful. It's another one of those songs that was lying in wait for me. It was. And it took you I think really I know to it spring is. it loose, to, to, to virtually pry me out of my, my doldrums and get to sing this song. And I absolutely love it. And it's, I think it's one of your father's greatest moments. One of his, you know, perhaps not the magnum opus because he wrote so many great songs. But this is one of those songs, Jonathan, that never seemed to get the celebrity of alone together and dancing in the dark and all the great standards that your, your pop wrote. And yet, it's one of the most affecting, affectionate, and certainly sentimental ballads I've ever sung with regard to the, the love between a man and a woman. Mel is talking about Then I'll Be Tired of You. Interestingly, all of my father's songs, all of them, except one, were written for stories, for the musical stage, for films. He needed a story to direct him. He, he liked to write for character. Most of the great, as you know, most of the great American standards were written for stories. My father's entire catalog, except one song, was written for stories. The song is Then I'll Be Tired of You. In the early 30s, Arthur Schwartz and Yip Harbour, of course, the man who wrote the lyrics to April in Paris and Over the Rainbow and so on, got together and they just sat down and wrote a song. Are you going to do the verse? Oh, you bet. Because it's one of the most beautiful verses in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Mel Torme, Mike Renzi, Jay Lenhart, then I'll be tired of you. You look at me and wonder You look at me and doubt Darling, your eyes are asking 
asking, will the flame burn out? No one is sure of sunrise, no one is sure of dawn, but I am sure that I'll go Hit that note 20 years ago. 
not quite. Now that, that, by the way, that is not falsetto. I love these guys who do reviews on me and say, even in falsetto, he sounds okay. <laughs> it's not falsetto. It is absolutely a head tone. Yeah. Nothing to do with falsetto. Well, it just showed up uh, over the last ten years in your, in your strategy. I hadn't found it before. My range uh, in the last ten years, actually, Jonathan, has deepened happily, happily. Mm. And also, uh, I've, I've extended it a little bit in the upper upper register too. Mm -hmm. Taking some chances doesn't always work, but it worked tonight, thank mm -hmm. God. Version, a version of Lulu ever heard on this station. The recording is played every 11 minutes <laughs> and has been since 1934. But I think that's the first live version. WNEW New York, Jonathan Schwartz with Torme and Mike Renzi, Jay Lenhart and, and Tony Monty. You know, it just occurred to me, I was about to ask you, Mel, uh, were you aware of the, the Japanese and their activities with your recordings? Then it occurred to me that last year I gave you something that would have put you in touch with this phenomenon, that your records are coming back at us, the Dectet records in particular, beautifully, uh, uh, beautifully put out and pressed and polished by the Japanese. And I gave you the Japanese liner notes in a frame <laughs> at Carnegie Hall, at Carnegie Hall concert, yeah. last year, so that would have uh, told you about this. But, uh, for example, there's a store in your, in your neck of the woods called Music and Memories on Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. Do you know the place? Very well. Yeah. They have an astonishing Torme collection. There's a place in New York, Footlight Records, and J&R downtown. 
where your albums are in circulation, but the Japanese have repackaged them, but beautifully, just the same photographs and everything and the same liner notes. Mm. How many of these albums do you own uh, of the recordings you've really made? I don't own any of them, because I've, I've got the originals. And one of these times, I, I probably would like to put at least one each together, only for this reason, that they are infinitely superior to the original verb pressings. I'm, I'm not sure I understand. Oh, you mean the Japanese? The Japanese one. They are much better. They really are. I found something kind of interesting out, Jonathan, that your listeners and you might enjoy. Uh, Pickwick Records put out a... I hope they're not going to get mad at me for this, but, you know, it's Pickwick International. Mm. They put out a Harry James... an old Harry James record that I just fell in love with. I really wanted it very badly. And I took it home, and the pops on the record were so evident and so annoying that I did everything. I cleaned that record until I was blue in the face. I could never get the pops out. Mm. I used one of those static guns <laughs> to get the electrostatic mm -hmm. noise. Nothing would work. I finally went and talked to a friend of mine who's a very, very well-known record distributor out there, California Records, marvelous guy. He said, Mel, when we in this country recycle vinyl, he said, the people take the record and they throw it into the pot, so to speak, with the label still on. The paper is still on the vinyl. They do not scrub the paper off so that what you're getting is pure vinyl. What happens is that when they mix that vinyl and recycle it and make new records out of it, and that's what happened with the Pickwick record, uh, there is paper embedded <laughs> in the vinyl so that there's no possible way to get the pops out. Isn't that awful? That's so. Isn't that terrible? Again, that's why I'm delighted you mentioned the Japanese reissues of my records because they have done a, a beautiful, brilliant job of, of redoing them on pure vinyl, and mm -hmm. you can sure tell. Or pure paper. <laughs> <laughs> WNEW in New York. All right. Let's do it. Like, 
Bo do boo do 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 ba do do Shout down After seven, W N E W New York. Hey teacher, teach me something. Nice teacher, teach me something. I'm as awkward as a camel. That's not the worst. My two feet haven't met yet, but I'll be teacher's pet yet. Cause I'm gonna learn to dance on first. And I think it's possible I have found when your chin is on the ground. You pick yourself up, dust yourself off, start it all over again. Your confidence if you slip, be grateful for the pleasant trip. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, start all over again. Work like a soul inspired till the battle of the day is won. You may be sick and tired, but you'll be a man. My son, will you remember the famous man? Had to fall to rise again. Take a deep breath, dust yourself off. Take a deep breath, pick yourself up, and this is what we added later. Get some self-assurance if your endurance is great. I learn in easy stages if you're courageous and wait. To get the strength I want to, I must hold on to your hand. Maybe by the time I'm 50, I'll get up and do a nifty. Ah. Now that is how different it is now. We added that little Philip, that little sort of interlude that Fred Astaire indeed did in Swing Time. And as you can see, the record, when we originally did it, we were feeling our way, was Nothing's impossible I have found. It's now Nothing's impossible I... So the tempo has changed. The, the very feel of that whole arrangement that you played on the Marty's record has virtually changed with the years. That's but, evolvement. But it's interesting that you've taken it a step further. I was talking about a studio versus a live recording. What you've done is to leap forward from the live recording here tonight. That's right. Yeah. So there's a lot to be said for both. The controlled atmosphere that gave us the Surrey, the, the, in which the Surrey was born, along with the other songs in that album, like Hello Young Lovers and, and Lola and, and Devil Moon and so on. That's a wonderful, special environment, environment for a controlled artist such as yourself. But so is a live arena. And the pick yourself up that we heard from that live arena has now moved forward expansively as we've heard this evening. Absolutely true. So there's no stopping you. Something, something's got it. We've got to put an end to you. It's <laughs> just... <laughs> a lot of people would like to do that. <laughs> a lot of people out there would like to do that. Well, I, th that's just wonderful to hear. And uh, indeed, Astaire does that. Uh, he's, he, he adds that... That little... Yeah, that yeah little in Pick Yourself Up. A lot of your recording and the arrangements are informed by Fred Astaire. By Fred Astaire. When you were very young The world was younger than you As merry as a carousel The circus tent was strong With every star in the blue Above the rings you loved so well now the young world has grown old Gone are the tinsel and gold 
tip of your mind Why are you blind To all you ever were Never were Nearly are Really are Little girl Do 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 do
Come on, Pony, I need some chords. <laughs> Blue moon, you saw me standing alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own You knew what I was there for You heard me saying a prayer for Someone I really could care for And then there suddenly appeared before me The only one my arms could ever hold I heard somebody whisper Please adore me when I looked, the moon had turned to gold Blue moon, blue moon Now I'm no longer alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own WNEW New York, I'll, and it, it seemed that uh, somehow uh, Marty was able to string along. Oh, I think that he did uh, rather well. How about superb? I would say so. How about superb? I have a total commercial. We'll come back and hear request number two. What are you doing? and west of your life I have only one request of your life that you spend it all with me all the seasons and the times of your day of your days Let the reasons and the rhymes of your days All begin and end with me I want to see your face
dogs can hear that last note. I just thought you <laughs> Well, that's just wonderful. Thank you. Give a tug to your tie, put a crease in your pants. But if you really want to feel fine...